Hi again everyone, I hope you all had a good Christmas uh, and just to reiterate a couple of things, um, I'm making this video pri primarily um, for the people on my um, face in my Facebook group and it's the third and probably the final video um, on my design and development of a pastoral chanter which started um, on almost exactly three weeks ago now. Um, I just started a, one, one of my, my orders, a full set of villain pipes, and then I got, <laughs> I got completely sidetracked into de developing this uh, pastoral chanter. I'm going to have to make some um, mentions of a couple of people here. Um, firstly, Mr. John Daly, my friend and piper from Seattle. And it's all down to John <laughs> for me starting this project, because he, he emailed me about three weeks ago and asked me if I knew anything about pastoral chanters and could I make them. And I have to say, I actually knew very little about them. And no, I couldn't make them, I'd never even tried. And uh, not long after that, I felt sadly lacking that I couldn't do it. <laughs> so I had to try and make a pastoral chanter. I also have to make mention of uh, Ross Anderson, who is, um, I think, can be correctly called a bagpipe musicologist who lives in the south of England and Ross knows an awful lot about um, bagpipes in general and about pastoral pipes and I've had a very long email conversation with Ross and I'd like to thank him for, for all of his input. He actually sent me at the start some plans from a, um, a Robertson pastoral set from the late 18th century but to be honest I didn't really use the plans except to uh, establish that the, the chanter on those plans was almost exactly the same length is my own narrow bow D uh, Ill Enchanter and the bow was pretty much spot on as well so having established that I decided I was just going to use my Ill pipe narrow bow D Enchanter as, as the starting point so the job after that was to um, make foot joints test different reeds, different bows and after three weeks I've gone through I think eight or nine prototype chanters um, at least as many foot joints and arrived at the what I can now call a, a finished pastoral chanter. Uh, all of the others were made from, uh, in fact, jointed pieces of wood and uh, two two pieces of wood glued together, because um, it's not a good di good idea to waste a whole lot of um, prime black wood on, on prototypes. But having established a decent prototype, I then went ahead and made. Well, I suppose you can say it's a finished article. So this is, I think. <laughs> A pastoral chanter. I've only ever seen two two videos videos about them. Um, having all all the references I've read um, seem to mention things like um, baroque oboes and things like that. Uh, it does have a kind of oboeish sound. So really, this this is this is just this probably as I say the final video. It's just to let you see where the point I've arrived at with this chanter. Um, and, and see what you think. I added. A, I said in the last video that I added a key to play the the low the low D hole. I said really you should call this the low key C because when you close this key, you, you get low C. Um, I try to be too clever, <laughs> and I try. I orientated the key twenty five degrees off the line of the rest of the holes. Think it would be easier for for the pinky, but in fact, I I, th I think I made it a little bit more difficult. I think maybe a ten de ten degree orientation would have been easier. So I've had to bend the key around a bit.
can tell I, I'm, I'm not much of a player on the Highland Scottish fingering system. This is just really to try and give you a flavour. Um, I hope the, the video does it some justice. I think it sounds reasonably nice. Um, it does play with the um, exactly the same fingering that you employ for the for the Highland bagpipes, the border pipes, the Scottish small pipes. Um, so hopefully you might find that interesting. And so I think that brings us to the end of the uh, the pastoral chanter journey for the time being. Um, I don't suppose for one minute that's going to be the last one, but but for now I've cleaned up my workshop this morning. I'm getting back to my to my orders, <laughs> and um, I, th I think I still need to do one or two refinements on it. But um, I think it, I think it's almost there. So thanks everybody for your input and for listening. And happy New Year! <laughs>